a short squeeze is on the way, ladies and gentlemen. Bed Bath & Beyond, AMC, GameStop, they're all going to squeeze town. Now, specifically, we, we are getting new information from Bed Bath & Beyond that could really help out the whole sector and really get things going and specifically it is new purchases from vanguard with bed bath and beyond shares then you're starting to see a lot of talk about a potential short squeeze that the short interest is just way too high that they're not going bankrupt just yet guys so we have a lot to talk about in a very short amount of time we are probably going to keep this video short sweet straight to the point if you like those kind of videos hit that like button now let's get straight into this information and i really just stumbled across this i'm like i'm curious you know what's going on with bed bath and beyond today is there any news and this really stands out to me this was posted one hour ago vanguard is doubling down on bed bath and beyond stock vanguard now owns 7.31 percent of bed bath and beyond stock outstanding now really the way that I look at this, right, because I've, I've been in this industry for quite a while, I, way before COVID, 2017, 2018, uh, before a lot of this was popular, right, before a lot of people wanted to trade stocks uh, for the better part. Now, a Vanguard, they're not going to buy a company that's, that's going bankrupt. They're, they're just not going to do that. They're, they're not. Uh, unless maybe there's going to be a short squeeze because it's obvious bed bath and beyond it's not going to be around forever it's going to go bankrupt this is not a long-term hold for van for vanguard this is a short squeeze trade and interestingly enough even if it's weeks or months before a short squeeze you will start to see vanguard and uh, a lot of these other huge firms start to buy up shares of the company now I just read Vanguard is doubling down on Bed Bath & Beyond. Vanguard owns 7.31% of BBBY stock outstanding. Vanguard disclosed ownership of 8.57 million shares of Bed Bath & Beyond stock as of December 30th. That's compared to its previous position of 8.2 million shares as of the third quarter. Bed Bath & Beyond stock is up more than 2% year to date. And it goes on to say the stock was up 150% year to date before it did fall and about the whole raising shares to, to raise a billion dollars, right? That That is going to stave off bankruptcy at least for a short amount of time. Now, let's take a look at this article. Bed Bath & Beyond, major short squeeze potential. The retail chain just successfully raised up to $1 billion from investors, which helped prevent Bed Bath & Beyond's bankruptcy. Bed Bath & Beyond crashed 49% on Tuesday and slid another 13% on Wednesday. Bed Bath & Beyond could see a new short squeeze as survival odds have improved and the short interest ratio is excessive. Right? Let's go ahead and take a look at Bed Bath & Beyond numbers as well as AMC. But since we're talking about Bed Bath & Beyond, we'll do that one first. So Bed Bath & Beyond, no surprise, down 10% on the day, same along the lines with AMC. If we take a look at the estimated short interest of free flow, it's at 48%. That's excessive. 54.61 million shares that are currently sold short. Excessive. Cost to borrow average, 373.28%. Cost to borrow max of 419.97%. Just call it 420. Cost to borrow minimum of 7.6%. Now, if we look at interactive broker short availability, uh, sometimes there's, there's 8, 10, 65, 100,000 shares that are available. As of right now, there's zero shares available with a cost to borrow rate of 334%. And it is also, no surprise, on the threshold securities list. Same with AMC. And just that factor alone, when AMC, Bed Bath & Beyond, GameStop, these stocks are on the threshold securities list, typically, historically, every time that has happened, you have seen a rally. And I don't think that rally has even started with these stocks, I think what we've seen over the last uh, couple of weeks was really a pregame to what could be coming next. And why I'm mentioning Bed Bath & Beyond 
uh, to you guys, uh, a lot of you guys are probably not investors in Bed Bath & Beyond or, or looking, you know, trading the stock as actively as AMC. But as you see, when there's good news, it's good for all. When it's bad news, it's bad for all. So if Bed Bath & Beyond starts to go through a bit of a short squeeze, if you're seeing a lot of interesting activity happening with Bed Bath & Beyond like we are, that can uh, definitely give you a little bit of a glimpse of what could be to come as far as AMC and uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. Now, if we take a look at AMC, again, on the threshold securities list, 23% short interest of free float, 118.5 million shares that are sold short. Looks like 75,000 of those uh, were sold short here today. Cost of our average, 295.21%. Cost of our max of 358.94%. And cost of our minimum of 1%. Cost of our uh, numbers from Interactive Brokers has us at 167.5%. So... What you're seeing here are pretty much the same numbers. Besides the outlandishly high short interest in Bed Bath & Beyond, these numbers are relatively the same, right? Cost of borrow rates, the option activity, they're both on the threshold securities list. And I would say it's a net positive that Bed Bath & Beyond has a very high short interest as well. Because if you start to squeeze with Bed Bath & Beyond, it's going to send the whole sector up. And then it's like a domino effect. This is one of the things that makes me most bullish uh, on quote unquote meme stocks, specifically AMC, but Bed Bath & Beyond too. It is the domino effect of when the stocks start to rally, people pay attention. People pay attention. This is not a penny stock. Joe Schmo over here pumping it or talking about it. No, these are large companies with large investors and large money playing with these names. So when they, when they start to rally, you're going to get a lot of that buying pressure coming in from the markets relative, like I said, to a name that only a couple people know about or a couple thousand people know about. No, millions of people know about these stock so who knows what it could be that will send these shares up of amc or bed bath and beyond i think amc the most bullish thing going for amc at least is going to be earnings and i think earnings will be positive and i think there will be some very positive things to say from the management at amc on the earnings call with bet with bed bath and beyond it's probably going to be the closing of the actual deal to raise capital and their cost uh, structure that they're presumably going to be improving dramatically if Bed Bath & Beyond somehow can say some things that investors like well that's going to be a very positive thing and that's going to lead to a very big development uh, in Bed Bath & Beyond that could lead to a short squeeze so I think there's a lot of different things at, at play here with these specific names as well as the markets but overall I want to be long right here and right now now i know we didn't cover this in the last amc video so i do want to bring it to your attention um here today and that is going to be amc ftd so i do want to uh give you guys the numbers uh for next week just so you guys are all on the same page so um for next week for monday 1.4 million shares uh, they need to be bought back that are failure to delivers on Tuesday. This is going to be CPI day. This is going to be Valentine's day. Another 1.4 million shares that are in failure to deliver status that will need to be bought back on Tuesday on Wednesday, 1.3 million shares. So same story with bed, bath and beyond. They also have a lot of shares that obviously, you know, were failure to delivered to be delivered. I, I, sh I should say to make that more proper. Um, and that is also going to contribute to buying power in the week ahead. So leave your comments, questions, or concerns down below in the comment section. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, especially if this is your first time to the channel and you want to stay up to date with this kind of information, information that can make you money. Hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Now, most importantly, you guys enjoy your weekends and I will see you in the next one.